Big Blue Team from Prince Nassim Ahmed. A professional record from 18 contests of 17 wins with just one draw, seven wins coming by way of KO. He's the former undefeated IBF Intercontinental Bantamweight Champion, the challenger for the title, Moreno Morales. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Prince Nassim Quarter pounds and then eight stone ten pounds. The WBC International Super Bantamweight Championship. Yeah, difficult to tell. Looks a bit like Bugs Bunny when he has a smile as he came down the aisle there. Now, it's all funny. Hamid actually asked me that and I said I wasn't sure, but I think he is. And he said, Good, because I like fine examples. I think he likes fighting anybody. The man is good and he loves the airplane. Very good in the same. His last show with another fighter from the Magic Republic 23 was absolutely brilliant. It's not whether this guy will provide answers, but he's, he, he, he's never really been in with major names, although he held an, an IBF version of uh, what's called the sort of intercontinental title. That's it, the one below the major title. So although he's part of orthodox in the gymnasium, apparently is a natural self for this fellow. I think we need to see uh, Hamid against a fighter who's on the up, whose career is rising, who really fancies the game. The last two victories have been tremendous, and then the manner of them has been really breathtaking. But he's against someone who really still fancies the game. It was two men who had been well past their best. So it'll be nice to see Hamid against somebody. Maybe Ramirez can answer a few questions here. He looks lively enough, and he's making the Hamid miss, so he's certainly sharp enough. Certainly Ramirez's hairstyle looks handy for him. You're almost like a head guard, the thickness of that hair. Oh, uh, that's one of them, one of the older school. But he got down to business so well in Sheffield, didn't he, Hamed, and uh, hoping he's going to keep that. All the tricks he does, it's very attractive, and he can pull it off, and it's, it's marvellous uh, the way he gets away from punches all the time, a real Houdini job. He has tremendous reflexes, I mean, he does things that you wouldn't want uh, boys in the gymnasium to do, but he's so good at doing them, he gets away with them. Tremendous reflexes. But he's missing, and he's not doing it wrong, and he is. He's not managed to bully this man in the first minute or so, so maybe a couple of questions that will be answered. Well, there's one thing for sure, the, the Welsh crowd is not particularly high there. Well, incidentally, lives in Barcelona, actually, now. First visit to Britain. When he stands his ground there, John Hammond, you know, he's, he's really such a confident boxer, he doesn't need all the periphery to go with it. I suppose if you want to become a big name like in the entertainment world, he's a little bit extra, and I think he's got that. A short, sharp word there from the referee, Mickey Van, back to your corner. Well, that's, he's been with Brendan Ingram now, Hammond, since he was seven years old. He's, he loves the game, he's always in gymnasium, he's trained very hard indeed. Super bantamweights, eight stone oh, tap for 122 pounds, between uh, bantam and featherweight. Job here, I imagine. Yeah, she's trying to draw a lead at the moment, that's what he's doing. Yeah. But then in his last two fights against quality opposition, he's managed to bully the opposition right from the first bell in the, in the European fight. He floored the opponent straight away as the first bell rang. Well, he hasn't done that here. A fairly quiet start by his own standards, but he's not been hit. He's just a little bit untidy. 
the manager has no occupational fear at all, is he? He's not getting his own punches home yet. I don't, I don't think this, this fella cares anything about the showbiz side, but he wants to get on with it. Well, his movements are sharp enough. A couple of times, the hammer has tried to draw him into a mistake. He's managed to pull his head out of range. So at least his movements are sharp enough, so Hamid is going to have to go looking for this fellow. Step up a little bit closer. Yes, I did expect that, but Jimmy's got a whole part of it up, that gives him a press as well. Yeah, well, probably not. 
not as smooth as performance, but uh, when you don't box your best, it's negative, you can finish it with one shot, and that's exactly what he's done. The finishing shot was a beauty, and the punch that set it up looked to me, the way he looked away and pointed to his mouth, it was just looking maybe a tooth. I've been listening to it for that shot, this is the one from back. I was right in the mouth, and that's when he turned away, and it's quite possible there was some damage to maybe he's too long to carry on, they couldn't just stop it because he had his back to the I think after that punch, he didn't really want to go on. The finishing punch was a beauty. Bang, bang. He had no option there, did he? The lights were out. Soon recovered, mind you. But this kept him punched him. Oh, yeah, see, he has natural power. If you look at the strength he has in his legs and the way he sets himself, I mean, when you look at how many legs, you see he got a couple of divisions. And uh, once he fills out a bit, 